Alex. Hey guys, what's going on? It's a Super Kamikaze here, and in today's video, what I got for you guys is like a freight spawn trap, how to play kind of thing. Now, what I'm doing this for is because my last two videos, my last two chem strikes have been on freight, so I thought I'd make a video for you guys, because I can't get a gameplay because I cannot really move my fingers after doing all that, like, work and shoveling. For like, I literally did it for 12 hours plus, so I cannot really move my fingers, so I can't play online that much. I don't have great accuracy or anything, really. So I'm just gonna... Hopefully get a gameplay by next time for you guys, but yeah, anyway, this is just a nice freight, you know, spawn trap, hidden tricks, ways to go, lines of sight, nice spot, so let's hop off first, on blitz, you spawn in this back area if you start off here, now instead of running through the containers and up there, because everyone goes through th that building through there, and it becomes very congested, and there's lots of enemies, and they can come from behind that train, so they can pick you off on a lot of angles, really, this is not a nice line of sight. It kind of is, like, if you think about it. You can pick up the people on the train. But, yeah. And then, you want to push all the way to the left of, up there. You know, skip the building here. And then go all the way to the left, like, pauza. And then, well, if you don't know how to open this thing or close this thing from this side, you can go in here and there's a panel. Shit, I need that open. No! Okay, actually, I don't even use the underground. But I push through the bottom floor of this building. And I push out this door because no one really goes there. Although you get a couple of people running to the underground. And they won't notice you. So you can just step out and bam. While they're trying to run across to the underground. Now you'll know if there's people there. Because if they're unsuppressed and they shoot the fence to open it. You'll know they're there as well. So you can be more prepared. And if there's people like running across there. You can just pick them off while they're shooting your enemies up in the train. So this is probably the best spot to start off on this side. So you want to. Because you look at that. You get lines of sight on both the like enemy where they're going. Now, what I like to do next is, I like to close this door, because it means one less spot for the enemies to come out of, and you don't have to watch your back as much, because they don't really run down this middle aisle, but areas you can control once you're up here, is you can hang around this area, uh, back here behind this door, so you can like hang around here, watch people coming out there, and around this corner to try and make it to the underground, or... You can, uh, like, when the people try to come out behind this fence, you can pick them off while they're coming. And if they know where you are, you can, like, kapowza. Oh, look at this spot. Nice to see through the wall. Like, man, that's pretty weird. But, yeah, once you're there, you know, you can control this area. It's a nice little power position. But what I like to do is push up a little bit further into their spawn. Now, if you're over here, they're going to be spawning in that lumber pile area. So... You want to have an unsuppressed weapon, otherwise this spawn kind of trap thing won't really work. Because if you're suppressed, not everyone knows where you are, they're not going to come for you. And the guys, if you keep killing them a few times, they're going to just leave you alone, and you're not really going to get any kills. So you want to be unsuppressed, so the enemies just keep coming for you. And the thing is, you can just work this wood block for, like, ever. You can just, you got a head glitch, so don't try to be sneaking instead of just coming straight through there and they go around that. You want them to actually try and be sneaking and come around there, because it means you can head glitch and just bam. And then if they try to come out there, you can, like, lean, and if they try to come behind you, like, this power position is amazing, this wood block. So, but if they stop coming from there, so you keep coming from there, uh, you can actually just lean on this thing, and you can actually kind of see where they are through here, as you can see, like, there's all these holes in the fences, so you can actually just start shooting them through there. So, that's pretty much where you want to be, and if you're too, not comfortable being that deep in the spawn, you can push back into this building, and hover the upstairs, rotate around the upstairs, like, areas of this building. Now, uh, you can hop out on this long metal sheet, because, you know, you kind of got a bit more leeway, and you can lean and just bam, 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 and then, you know, you, this is the nice head glitch I was talking about before my last chem track video. Instead of, like, sitting at the top of the stairs where you're vulnerable, you can kind of work and make a kind of head glitch by standing back. It also makes it harder for you to shoot the enemies. So if you lay back here, uh, they don't really look here much, so you kind of got a nice, like, advantage over them. And a nice spot is you climb up these paper rolls, and you got up here, and you can see down the spawn, and then you also got a view over the whole map. So if they're starting to escape, leak out this right-hand side not coming to you, you can hop up here, pick them off while they're trying to run across your blitz, and you're pretty much good. So... And then, you just want to rotate through here, look out the window, and, you know, just, it's pretty easy to rotate this, these two buildings. I got a campfire doing it in my one of my videos, so you can watch that. And, it's sound always really easy on this map, because when they're out, out on this, like, material stuff, they make splishy, splashy water sounds. When they're in here, concrete sounds. On the stairs, it's really clingy, clangy. So, you know when they're coming up, you know when they're in the bottom story, and you know when they're outside. They're very distinct sounds. So, that's pretty much how you want to run this out. You don't want to really want to be up in there or this building, because they do come in there a lot. There's lots of angles, windows. You got, like, that. You got there. 
It's really, really hard to control, and the wood piles are so, like, three different wood piles, which means creates lots of angles they can get you from, so... Let's switch sides here and go to the Federation, and we be like, let's put on a sniper this time. And then, you know, so this side, I like to push up the middle here first, because I don't like to go underground with my teammates, and I don't like to go left with all the enemies, where they'll be coming at the train. Now, no one really goes there or there, so majority of enemies will go through the containers, and they'll go underground and battle your teammates out, but majority when they're on that side will come through the containers. So you want to come up the middle, and you can get a line of sight on the enemies. Watch out, some of them may, may know you're coming, so you want to like, kind of like crouch or, you know, head down, prone, and bam. And then if they beat your teammates over here and they start pushing through, just, you know, just imagine you have a assault rifle, just and mow them down. Now, you don't want to push straight up through the middle here, because then you're very vulnerable from people camping back there. People, if you run across here, people will be camping in this blitz room, and they'll be trying to come through the containers still. So that's very hard. You want to, after you've picked up enemies from there, you want to push this right hand building. And if you want to, you can like look for enemy enemies down here, but I recommend going upstairs first. Because then, you actually have a nice line of sight, as you can see, if you crouch or prone, you can see all the people like sitting in the back corners of this blitz room, and you gotta watch out for people in the top floor here, because you can like pick them off they sit in that window. And then you got up here, now, the enemies don't really come through there, but they do sometimes, so you wanna watch that out. And then, I like to push up, you can hang around in this building a bit, because it's pretty easy to control, but I like to push up in, around, and I hover around this area. Like, I just, you know, lean on here and just bam, and I lean, you can lean on this little thing too, get a kind of a head glitch, and then bam. And then, if they're starting to push out, you can just run right back up here, and go to the, like, thing, and pick them off while they're running across. So it's really easy to control. You don't want to be in the container, because there's so many, there's even spawn points in there, and it, there's lots of containers, lots of little ways they can go. So if there's multiple enemies, you're going to be taken out, especially in the containers, and because it's in their spawn, there's going to be a lot of enemies. So you're going to get picked off if you can go in the containers. Now that's pretty much how you contain them in each side of the spawns on this map. Now I'm just going to go over some nice lines of sight you have on this map. First one is, you see, you can see under the train, so like, if they come out that doorway, you can just pick them off here. Now, a red dot sight you can still see, you see, I'm zoomed out, you can still see through it. So, like, imagine you don't have a sniper scope. And another one is you can go back here. Uh, it's kind of harder to pull off because you don't have as far back to go, but you can pull it off. So, you can, like, go prone, you can, um, crouch at the very back of the wall, but you can see into this blitz room. Now... I like this spot a lot because it lets me eliminate the campers. Now, I can't find the exact lines. There we go. Like, you can see through here. Now, because it, it kind of has a line of the middle of the blitz room, so people do kind of come through there. It's better pull off this line of sight right here through the train, bottom of the train on this train with a sniper because you're only going to have ch chance for one shot to be pulled off. So, you got to hit that shot with a sniper. So, that's pretty much the train line of sight. You can climb up on these trains as well. Uh... So, you know, but I don't really make it. You're vulnerable from all angles. You can't even see everyone's kind of stupid. Now, this building, if you didn't know, I'm pretty sure everyone knows. You can come up here and you can just like kapowza. Kapowza. Well, I think it would have been pretty cool if you get on top of those wood piles, but you can't. So, that's what I'm talking about. If you run in there, there's like, there's spawn points in this wood pile too, so you kind of screwed. There's lots of ways the enemies can come. Now, this spot here is a really good spot. I hate people who use it because it's a head glitch. You can't see them, but they can see so much of the map. And because they got metal, which is harder to shoot through, so they have really good cover, and they're just like, they can pick you off from all angles, and like, because of all like the loosely placed metal in this game, you kind of see everywhere, and you can see through to the window. This map's got really weird, cool lines of sight, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So, you, I, pro I haven't probably gone over all the lines of sight, because there's so many weird ones, like, where you can just see through loose pieces of metal and stuff. But yeah, just look out for those, and yeah, you slide off the roof and try and walk out on it, because... You used to be able to walk out the map on going on this roof from the ladder. But that's pretty much it. Be sure to drop a like if this helped you out in any way. Try it out for yourself, the two spawn traps I showed you, or spawn containment systems. Make sure you're unsuppressed on this map, so they keep coming to you. You want to hang out on that side, and you want to hang out over there. So, that's pretty much it, guys. You know, thanks for watching. Peace, kamikaze out. I hopefully will be able to play COD again soon, and upload a gameplay for you guys on two days from now, which is Sunday. Anyway, look out for that video.